If you were buying a 16 core 32 thread beast of a processor like the Ryzen 9 5950X, obviously you have specific workloads in mind. We can't just get by with a motherboard that's good for gaming but limits the user in other scenarios. Another thing to consider is that some might be buying this processor for future proofing reasons. The motherboard choice should reflect on both of these scenarios. As such, performance is key here. Any motherboard on this list does not constrict the 5950X in any way, apart from the few budget choices that lack extensive overclocking support. Of course, not everyone has the budget to spend a ridiculous amount on a PC build. Well, that conversation is entirely relative and a discussion for another day. So all the motherboards on here are great performers in their own right. Some might be better at overclocking, some might have better features, and others may just look like better options in general. Diversity is key here, and it's important to not get wrapped up in spec sheets. But look beyond that. In conclusion, any motherboard should perform respectably in these four categories. VRM design, aesthetic appeal, connectivity, and overall value. Anything less than good is not acceptable for the 5950X. The motherboards are scored on these parameters, given an overall rating, and ranked accordingly. With all that said, let's take a look at the roundup. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 5. Asus ROG Strix X570i Gaming For the fifth entry on our list, we have an ITX motherboard. X570 is a great platform, and you don't have to limit yourself to just ATX options. Even a high-end chipset such as X570 can excel in the ITX form factor. Asus provides plenty of proof to back that up. Consistently, Asus has proven to be the best motherboard manufacturer for ITX and small form factor PC builders time and time again. We're not quite sure why other brands are yet to catch up. While many ITX motherboards look like they are bare bone or just uninteresting, that's not the case here. This motherboard has the Strix name to live up to, and it does that very well. This motherboard manages to look just as good as its ATX counterparts, if not even better. We have the iconic yet familiar Strix design philosophy to thank for that. An all-black design is still present here, shared by both the PCB and exterior. As always, this provides the Strix motherboard with a sleek and stylish theme. Apart from that, you also get a good number of RGB zones and edge-lit lighting. This provides the board with a look that we rarely see on many ITX products. Furthermore, this board also has eight SATA ports present, which is great for the form factor. While the dual M2 slots would seem like a downside for the price, it's good enough for the form factor here. Another thing lacking here is the omission of any hardware buttons. That feature certainly helps out when troubleshooting an ITX build, so it's a bit of a letdown. With that said, the positives outweigh that small negative. You get access to high-performance networking in the form of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Gigabit Ethernet. Furthermore, the ROG Supreme FX audio codec is phenomenal in terms of sound output. The power delivery situation is great as well. This motherboard features a 10-phase design in the form of 8 plus 2 stages. Thanks to the quality of components here, it proves to be more than enough for a powerful processor such as the 5950X. Considering everything, this is the best ITX motherboard for Ryzen 9 5950X, no doubt about it. Of course, a high-end ITX motherboard such as this one will cost a lot. However, some small factor form PC builders will be willing to put up with that. To sum it up, we like the dual M2 slots for storage, the surprisingly good VRM design, the superb aesthetics, the high-end network features, and the excellent RGB implementation. On its downside, it's quite expensive. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics is 8 out of 10. Connectivity, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.25 out of 10. Number 4. AS Rock B550M Steel Legend Asus Rock Steel Legend series of motherboards has been around for a couple years now. This product line from AS Rock has cemented itself as one of the best for AMD Ryzen processors. Well, that's certainly what critics and AMD fans seem to agree on. What makes this product line so special is the unique design, along with the value proposition. The Steel Legend motherboards perform admirably well for their price, and it's hard not to recommend them because of this. The B550M Steel Legend is worth considering for any Ryzen buyer. This budget micro ATX motherboard uses a unique design language. AS Rock uses the white and silver accents as the main focus here. This provides the B550 board with an almost stainless steel look to it. This finish can be seen on both the exterior and the heatsinks. Both the chipset and power delivery heatsinks share the same design. The chipset heatsink is combined with the M2 shielding, providing a uniform look to the design. It features two M2 slots, but the second one does not feature any type of shielding or heatsink on it. The rear panel cover and chipset heatsink feature AS Rock branding along with controllable RGB. For power delivery, the board uses a 10-phase VRM design. The 8 Plus 2 VRM design works surprisingly well with the 5950X. It's great that a budget motherboard like this can handle a flagship tier processor. The performance here definitely earns it some extra points, especially for the price. 
As for the rear panel, we get access to a good amount of USB ports, a clear CMOS button, a USB to C, high frequency memory support is also a plus point for this board, as it can keep up with the higher end options on the market. While the VRM design can readily handle light to medium overclocking with the 5950X, some enthusiasts will still not be satisfied. This is because the BIOS experience is quite basic, as this is something AS Rock needs to work on. Apart from that, if the lack of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth does not bother you, then this is a great motherboard all around. While it does lack some bells and whistles, it makes up for it with its great design and affordable price. To sum up what we like in this motherboard, the compact form factor, the affordable price for every gamer, the capable VRM design, the unique design language, and that it has a good amount of USB ports. On the downside, it lacks Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics is 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 8 out of 10. Value for your money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 3. Asus Prime X570 Pro Asus is known in the gaming world for its high-end and high-performance products. However, that does not mean that they restrict themselves to the more expensive end of the market. The Prime X570 Pro is an excellent example. The Prime series' sole reason for existence is to represent excellent value. In this version, the Prime X570 Pro brings X570 features down to a more reasonable price. Sure, there are still even cheaper options out there. However, the Prime X570 Pro does not scamp out on any features, making it the best budget motherboard for the Ryzen 9 5950X. Design-wise, the X570 Pro is quite simple, and it happens to be sophisticated at the same time. While most Prime motherboards tend to look simple, the X570 Pro makes sure that no one is driven away by an uninteresting design. The large rear panel cover and chipset heatsink are both white. A silver accent is used on the power delivery heatsinks to contrast both of those. The chipset heatsink also features a fan, as is common throughout the X570 platform. Addressable RGB lighting is also present on both the chipset heatsink and on an area over the rear panel cover. These zones are controllable thanks to Aura Sync through the Asus Armory Crate software. It's great that this software remains the same throughout Asus lineup. With this being an X570 motherboard, you get access to PCIe Gen 4 on the two M2 slots. The bottom slot incorporates an aluminum shield, while the top one does not. An unconventional design for sure, but nothing frustrating. You get to access high-frequency memory thanks to the support for RAM up to 4400 MHz. This is rarely seen on cheaper motherboards, so it earns the Prime X570 Pro extra points. The six-phase VRM configuration is reliable and robust. While it still handles the 5950X admirably, the overclocking potential just isn't there. Of course, this is to be expected from the motherboard. If you don't want to be bothered with Ryzen's admittedly frustrating overclocking and just want a decent overall experience for a reasonable price, then buy this motherboard. To sum up the pros of the Prime X570 Pro are the great design, despite the price, the affordable and competitive price, it supports high-frequency memory, the Aura Sync and Asus Armory Crate support, and the great I.O. selection. On the downside, it barely has any overclocking support. Our rating for VRM design is 8 out of 10. Aesthetics is 9 out of 10. Connectivity is 8.5 out of 10. And value for money is 8.5 out of 10, giving us an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Extreme Extreme is not a word to be taken lightly, and neither is this motherboard. For those who are looking for the best of the best, look no further. The Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Extreme is without a doubt the cream of the crop. The Crosshair lineup is known for its excellent performance, abundance of features, and high-end design. The Crosshair 8 Extreme builds upon all of that and takes things to the next level in all regards. This Extreme motherboard overtakes the Dark Hero as Asus's flagship offering for the X570 chipset. Design-wise, it manages to look even better than previous entries. It has an industrial look to it while looking sleek and stylish at the same time. It features a passively cooled chipset, so there's no need for an unattractive chipset fan. Instead, we see a gigantic ROG logo on the chipset heatsink. This heatsink is combined with the M2 heatsinks in one uniform piece. The board manages to look minimal and sophisticated. On the right edge, we have a strip for RGB lighting. The rear panel cover is rather large and features a customizable 2-inch OLED display. You can use custom images or GIFs here through the Armory Crate software. The VRM heatsinks feature an angular and aggressive design. You get three onboard M2 slots, but this board has support for five in total. To the right of the DIMM slots, you can see another slot that's called the DIMM2 slot. Here, you can add an expansion card that uses the DIMM2 form factor allowing you to install two additional M2 drives. This is a very clever additional feature, and an exclusive one at that. Another feature is the dynamic OC mode, which combines both precision boost overdrive and manual OC. You can seamlessly switch between the two thanks to dynamic OC. Other premium features include onboard power and reset buttons, debug LEDs, and BIOS flashback. Furthermore, you get an over-engineered 20-phase VRM design. 
We don't need to tell you how impressive that is, as the 18 plus 2 design is an overkill even for the 5950X with heavy overclocking. This is the perfect motherboard for people who are interested in water cooling. You get tons of fan headers, three addressable RGB headers, and separate headers for the pump and AIO. Quite difficult to not get impressed here. On top of all that, you get Thunderbolt 4 support, along with a complicated selection of ports for connectivity. Needless to say, this board will likely outlive every component in a PC build. Of course, all of that glory comes at a very hefty price. To sum up, what we like here is the phenomenal VRM cooling and design, the impressive high-performance networking, the stylish yet minimal design language, the customizable OLED display, and the support for a whopping 5 M2 slots. On the downside, as mentioned before, it's very expensive for the average build. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics is 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.87 out of 10. Number 1. Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. Gigabyte's X570 lineup is extensive which does make it a bit hard to navigate. While the Aorus Master might just be the best of the bunch, the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi might be a better choice for some folks. This motherboard is priced quite well, as it has the same features as the Ultra version, yet costs less. It has everything a gamer could want, incorporating enthusiast features at the same time. Evidently, this is what makes this the best motherboard for Ryzen 9 5950X. In terms of design, Gigabyte has gone for a similar look throughout the Aorus X570 lineup. This motherboard should feel right at home in any gaming build. Black and grey is the main theme here, and it works well in providing the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi with a sleek look. The plain black PCB has some silver stenciled on it, and the brushed aluminum finish on the chipset heatsink contrasts that gorgeously. A large rear panel cover proudly shows the Aorus branding, along with a lighting strip that adds a subtle design quirk to the board. As for the VRMs, they are flat and subtly helped out by the rather small-looking heatsink. Fortunately, the heatsink outperforms its look. You get two M2 slots, both of which feature an aluminum heatsink. Always a nice touch on high-end motherboards. Apart from that, you get enthusiast features such as BIOS flashback and debug LEDs. The 14-phase VRM design is quite impressive, as it is a true 12 plus 2 phase design. It does not use phase doublers like other cheaper alternatives. This enables the motherboard to have excellent support for the 5950X, even with heavy overclocking. That true 14-phase VRM configuration pairs perfectly with the support for high-frequency memory. Performance is a non-issue with this high-end motherboard. A commendable effort from Gigabyte. Other than that, you get high-performance networking, a good selection of ports, and incredible audio output. Another M2 slot would make the product even better, but apart from that, it's hard to find other real complaints here. To sum up, what we like here is the beefy 14-phase VRM design the stealthy all-black design, the excellent use of high-end controllers, the high-performance audio and networking, and the great overclocking with fast memory support. On the downside, it could use an additional M2 slot. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetics is 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. And value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Do you think another motherboard's better for the Ryzen 9 5950X? Well, tell us your opinion.